Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Print Heart. Today I'll be showing you how to renew your old headset. This looks not only pretty and unique, but it can also protect your headset from minor damages. So this is what we'll need to get our work started. This is the thread I use, which is the crochet yarn from Anchor, scissors and your headset. As you can see, this headset has been through a lot. This seems so old and has some deep damages. But still works though. As long as the wire is not cut off, we can begin our work. First thing is first, what I do, I always give a little clean up before I start braiding with some cologne. This is the ordinary baby cologne. I'm gonna clean up the whirling button, ear pods and the tail as well. Just gonna clean it with a towel. Great. These parts are clean and has a blink now. So now I'm going to start braiding from the tail. So let's take some tape and secure it in place. Actually, I'm going to start from this part because it's in risk of damage. Let's zoom in to get a good view on how to braid. Cut the yarn and start by doing a simple knot to keep the thread on place. Like so. Push the thread back and secure it tightly. Take the thread from your right side and put it over the headset to your left. Make sure to leave a loop. Then, the thread in your left side goes under the headset to your right side thread's loop. Like so, tight it up nicely. Let's do it again. Your right side thread goes to the left leaving a loop. And the thread on your left goes under the headset to your right side into the loop. Tight it up. Continue doing it and you'll notice the braid starts to form and twist itself as you go. Just keep repeating the braid. No need to worry when the braid starts to turn. Keep repeating the process like so. I'll show you how the braid forms so far. Once you've reached the end of the thread you're working on, you need to add another thread to continue. So we are going to add the thread now. I'll show you the easiest and the safest way to do it. Cut off the next piece of thread and do a knot right after the last braid. Tight it up good. Leaving the thread lie down, continue doing the braid over the new thread. Make sure you hide the knot with the braid. Continue to braid till you reach to the end. Take the small threads and keep them along the headset. And start braiding the same way with the long ones. Keep braiding your way down. Pull the short threads after each braid. We don't want them making a fuss after we finish the headset. Keep braiding and go on till you pass the short threads. Make sure you don't let the small thread show out. As you can see, I have finished the braid to the volume button. I'll show you the braid design. As I have more thread left, I'm just going to do it over the volume button. These ear parts have some damages, so we'll need to make sure to braid them gently, making sure to secure them well. Just start doing the same way with a knot. We'll cut this part in the end, so don't worry about that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna secure the other ear part, just to make sure it doesn't disturb me. And I'm just going to continue my self braiding on my way down. And you can see I'm just going to add some thread and continue braiding. Let's see some fast forward action, shall we?
Ta-da! And I'm just gonna finish this now. You can see I've left some bees. We're just gonna glue this down at the end. And this is the braiding. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same way to the next ear part. And boom! We finished it. So as you can see, everything is braided. We're done with the braiding. So what we're gonna do now is we just have to secure the little thread pieces we left there and here with some glue. I use fabric glue. Since this is a yarn, fabric glue works better. So we just have to cut these parts now into shorter pieces. So I'm just going to take some fabric glue and glue them down nicely. Since it's yarn, fabric glue will make it stay on foot. Like so. No damage and no issues. I work with many glues and I find fabric glue is the best for this job. So again, apply some glue. And make sure you tie them up nicely. You don't need to tie or do any braids there. You just need to circle them up and make sure they glue down nicely. It doesn't take a long time to dry. If you can leave it for some minutes, that will be enough. As you can see, it looks so good. Now let's go to the ear parts. And the same way, put some glue and wrap them up nicely. And that's done, folks. And this is the way you braid your headset. As you can see, this is the braid. This is how the design will be. There are many other ways to braid. I'll show you the other techniques in another video. I hope you like my video. Please do subscribe and like. Thank you for your support. Bye.